Macca's Guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here playing The Order 1886. Now that we've completed Chapter 10, which was mostly a cinematic, we should be in Chapter 11 called Brothers in Arms, which is the last long chapter of the game. It has a total of 14 collectibles. The first one here is going to be a newspaper very early on in the chapter. We're going to come into this building. Now, in this chapter, there are quite a few things where if you interact with something in a room before you take the collectibles, it will trigger a cinematic that will not allow you to pick up these collectibles. So you'll have to come back into the game uh, through Chapter Select. Um, for example, in this room, uh, you saw me pick up that newspaper, and in the other room on the desk, you can see a photograph here of Francis and Commonwealth. However, there's also a third interactable object, which if you pick up, it'll actually skip this area, and then you won't be able to get these collectibles, and that also happens later on. Now that we're outside on the rooftops, we're going to go for collectible number three. Now, you'll see my uh, friend there across, and what we're actually supposed to do is use that pole in front of me to swing across, but instead, we're going to go down. And then we're just going to continue through here. Um, you can also go up uh, these stairs and climb some stuff in order to get where you're going. But instead, just keep uh, on the lowest part of this uh, alleyway. And you'll end up on this box, which should look familiar as always. Inside will be a phonograph cylinder. This one is called the Anarchists 171086. Um, so opening it will uh, make your character automatically pick it up and you can double check with your archive to make sure you are following along. This cable is urgent. Next up, collectible number four. After using a rope line and landing near, near this gazebo, you'll have a little bit of a stealth section. Now I've taken out all the enemies so you'll want to keep that in mind. You probably won't be able to sprint around as much as I have here. Um, your goal will be to find a key on one of the guards. And if you just kind of go forward through here, after getting that key, your objective will be to open that gate. Before you open that gate, across the hall from it, you'll find this small room. And inside, you'll find a newspaper that says, District Paralyzed by Power Failure. You'll want to obviously pick up this new newspaper and read it in order to get that collectible. Collectible number five. Uh, it's a photograph entitled, My Dearest Elizabeth. You'll come through a window and you'll end up in this room. And then on the right-hand side desk, you should see this photograph. Now, for whatever reason, the button prompt didn't come up on my screen, but this is a mandatory photograph that you will need to collect in order to get the trophies. Um, and again, it should be directly in front of you after a cutscene where you climb through a door or a window. A little bit after that, you will uh, meet up with an ally. Um, collectible number six is your last object in the game. Um, you'll take out a few guards, and she'll be waiting for you uh, just right there across this kind of walkway before we continue uh, and follow her through there. I'm just going to run through here. There's a door that I've already opened that you're going to want to uh, use your lock in order to take out. And you can pick up this tin can, which I believe is a tin can for tea, tea leaves. Um, anyways, after you look at it, this will be your last object in the game. So if you've been following along, along, you'll unlock the power of observation trophy. Next up, collectible number seven. We are now inside of a building. We've taken out a whole bunch of guards and are going downstairs. Um, this is a phonograph cylinder, which you should see glowing directly in front of you as you enter this hallway on this desk. Uh, again, hold the button prompt in order to pick it up, and you can check your archive in order to uh, double check that you got the exact same thing as me, and that you're also on pace. Now from that phonograph cylinder, if you turn 90 degrees to your left, you will find a door, and that door is going to have a lock on it. And uh, inside there, you can find some weapons and ammo and some grenades, but you also find one collectible, which is a document. Collectible number 8 of 14. Uh, you will need to use your voltage, voltage instrument to get inside. And uh, once you're inside, it should be literally directly in front of you. This is a statement as to death. So I think it's like a death penalty for someone who is uh, being prosecuted. Not 100% sure. The writing's kind of a little too small to uh, get the uh, full picture there. So you want to turn it over on both sides and then you can leave Leave it. Collectible number nine, uh, a little bit later, you'll have this large white spiral staircase. At the top of the staircase, to the right, you'll see a door that leads to a balcony. On that back balcony, you'll have some stuff happen in the story. So before we do that, um, you'll just want to make your way to the back of this room. And you'll see at this long table at the very end, you should see a phonograph cylinder called Ramayana First Verse. I probably pronounced that wrong, but let's just pretend I didn't. Um, so that's that one's actually going to come out of order. For whatever reason, it, it lists itself above the one we picked up before. Collectible number 10, we'll come to this room with a grand piano, some doors in front of us. And instead of going through those doors, which will trigger a cinematic, what we're going to want to do is uh, across from there, you'll see a table with some candle lights and a newspaper. Uh, Rebels spread terror on Westminster Bridge. Now the last four collectibles, 11, 12, 13, and 14, 
are all in this final archives room. There is a very important note here. Um, the first one obviously right here, as you saw, uh, just directly to your left on the table in front of me. There is a specific thing in this room that if you interact with it, it will trigger a cinematic and it will end the mission. So as long as you only interact with the exact things I'm interacting with, you don't have to worry about that. However, if you accidentally do interact with it, it's not a problem. Just load up uh, this uh, part of the level and uh, you'll just have to redo this final room. If we stay on the left hand side and go to the last bookshelf and then face the door from where we entered, if we look through the drawer, we will actually find a phonograph cylinder with a, the captain's testament. It's an archive. Now, it should show up last on your screen. I uh, had to come back here at a later time, so that's why it's a little bit out of order. And then from that, we can see a photograph, which is the Statue of Liberty, its head, back when it was in New York for the first time. Um, so if you go to the very back of the room for where we entered, you'll see this desk with a painting behind it and uh, this photo, which you can look at. Now, the item that if you interact with um, that will start the cinematic to end the level is a stack of papers. That's really all I'm going to say. Um, it's pretty random because uh, it's not really, you don't end up finding anything and it, it just it just randomly triggers the end of this of the um, the level. So just make sure you're quick and uh, here I'm going to skip forward a little bit because it's the wrong drawer. But from where you enter, if you go to the right hand side and you open the first drawer in the bookshelves uh, onto the right hand side from where we enter again, um, you'll find this. And you'll see that uh, he throws around some papers and some books. And behind one of the books is actually a phonograph cylinder of a song by Chopin. So you'll want to pick that up. And that's going to be 14 to 14. Now you can continue to explore the room in order to continue the game. And we're going to be skipping chapters 12, 13, 14. Again, so from chapter 11, we are going to skip chapter 12 as it has no collectibles. We're going to skip chapter 13 again, as it has no collectibles, and we're going to skip chapter 14 again, as it has no collectibles. The final chapter in the game with collectibles is chapter 15, To Save a Life. You can click on the screen in order to access that video. You can like the video if you found it useful. Share it with your friends if you so desire, and hopefully i see you there. Peace.